this is probably going to be the last clip of me in france because i literally got robbed <laughs> in the middle of the street and yeah it's safe to say i'm just completely over being here and i want to go home um i tried to film this already like explaining what happened but it was only like six hours after it happening and i i was just a mess but um yeah i got robbed and thankfully it was only my cell phone um and not like my purse my wallet and all that stuff um so i had to get like a burner for like the next few days so here's my trap phone she's so she's so slick oh, i can't wait to get home though <laughs> and get all my stuff back it's like how are you just gonna steal some girl's phone like out of her hand out of her hand in broad daylight you're crazy and there's so much i could like say but i don't want to like be awful back because i know that this random person is gonna get their karma um but it is what it is and everything happens for a reason and i at least i'm okay and my friend's okay and we weren't like assaulted oh but it still makes me mad anyways okay i will see you guys in vegas Hi trap phone. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't call it trap phone. Hi guys. We're on my burner. So I decided when I get home I will actually do a story time on getting robbed in France. I wasn't going to at first because like I don't want to be putting my business out there like that, but it's it's really like a popular thing and I feel like it'd be good and aware. For if you're gonna come to France at some point okay but till then we go to class and I'll see you way 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 later I just checked my camera everything's backed up I mean it was supposed to be backed up but I just got back into Instagram and TikTok I don't care how silly that sounds okay I needed to what is on my hand I needed to be in that so that I could like communicate and now we're back wow this is crazy Oh my gosh. Anyways, we're back home too. Good morning, guys. I thought it'd be a good idea to finish getting myself ready while I tell you the story of how I got robbed. Um, even though we're so, we're so over that. But yeah, today we're actually having a little birthday celebration for my brother his birthday was on thursday and today's saturday so we thought it was like perfect weather everything and i'm having my friends over i'm gonna see my family i'm so excited and i made him a cake which i'll show you guys after but yeah so let's get into it while i get ready i missed my vanity so much anyways um basically i had spent the entire night out with christina um, I do have some clips from that night, but pretty much everything is gone because my last backup was a week before it even happened. So it was like, this looks crazy. It was like June 11th was my last backup. So I, I'm, I'm missing quite a lot of videos, but I really don't care. Anyways, we were like, okay, it's our last weekend. Like, let's go out with Bang. So we were like, okay, we're going to go to this club first and we're going to go here. Da, 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 da. So we started the night at a bar and it was like so much fun. Okay. It was dead, but like we were having a great time. Like we got matching drinks, like we were just enjoying each other's company. And then we went, we went to go meet up with my French bae, <laughs> miss you. And, um, that was a whole thing in itself, but we had fun at that club and then I was like, okay, I'm going to go to La Plouffe now, which is like the club that I've been going to every weekend while I was there, which is my favorite club. It's the boat. Yeah, da, 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 da. So we would go to La Plouffe and like the whole time we were like planning to like, we had to like pace ourselves so that we could like stay up to watch the sunrise. So we go to La Plouffe and we don't leave until like four, I want to say. And then we're like, oh my God, like, let's go get McDonald's. And of course the only McDonald's, which I didn't realize at the time was like in a in the bad area like that they told us to avoid but like we didn't realize that like while we're trying to just get mcdonald's anyways so immediately get out of the car and like swarmed by nasty men because men are disgusting anyways and then um we get our mcdonald's we get back in the uber we go home 
and we have like 30 minutes left till sunrise is coming up so we just like lay on the bed really quick we change our clothes and then we walk up to the basilica to watch the sunrise and we watch it rise <laughs> and then we we're gonna go to mass at 7 30 but we were like oh like we want coffee like let's go get coffee so of course the only one that's open is like we have to take the metro whatever we take the metro it's a stop after the bad area that we were just in for mcdonald's and that we didn't realize we were in but so we go to the stop after we're walking off the metro we're walking in the street i'm doing the directions my phone is in my hand i have this little bag my phone is in my hand just like this and i literally got ran up like he runs around from behind and like actually no he didn't even run or sort of ran but because the people around us like after it had happened were like no he was like we thought he was with you so he must have been like following us for a while but he comes around and then he starts to like be like super speedy like he like yanks it out of my hand and like my nails are starting to bend back like it was so uncomfortable i'm like screaming it's seven something in the morning on a sunday so it's quiet in this neighborhood and then we start to look around and we're like oh shit like we're not in a very good area right now and then i see the mcdonald's i'm like oh my god we were just here like whatever he got it people were trying to help me chase him whatever it was like impossible we hop into the police car and we're like trying to find it because she has my location we yeah we have the location but like we can't like the police were basically saying like they can't go knock on every single door of this apartment complex and like search every single so i'm like okay it's gone like it's gone and that's pretty much what happened he just came up snatched it right under my hand and was off and that's the story time of how i got robbed in france so be careful guys because if you're going to france it's a very popular thing i feel like everyone knows that but like i i got comfortable is the problem so yeah but i'm so excited for today tensions are settling after that because i was very stressful and i went to my favorite coffee shop couldn't be happier okay i got myself a little bit ready kind of i don't know but I wanted to show you guys, um, I think I showed in a vlog before I left to go, to go, that my best friend made me this journal. And a lot of us girls, like, on the trip journaled anyways. So they, like, put, like, they, like, tape stuff in it. And I just usually, like, free write. Like, I just write, 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 write. But I, like, got inspiration from them. So I wanted to show you guys, like, some things that I kept. I tried to keep a lot towards the end because I knew I was going to do this. But let's start from the back. Here is my plane tickets. This is the police station <laughs> that they told me to go to. Um, this is like when I was in Paris, my like way to get around. This was like what I used in my old phone for like uh, service in France. Um, here is what I used to get around in Lyon. And like this was the temporary ones before the monthly permanent one. Um, Oh, this museum that we went to, this coffee shop that we would always go to, the lavender. They had so many lavender trees, and it smells so freaking good. Um, and then, like, my residence card. Oh, look at this. The freaking McDonald's ticket. I didn't realize this was the one from the bad area until I got home and, like, taped it in there. The wrapper from the vodka bottle. Oh, my gosh. And then, yeah, like, I usually just write, write, and write. But... Yeah, I kind of am disappointed in myself because I really wish I, like, finished the rest of this. But I was so busy doing so many other things. 